Hello everyone, my name is Dana Jones and welcome to Curb Cat. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe by hitting that red button down below. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to be alerted of our new videos. Today we have with us Kyle Wright, one of Jamaica's top performing students in POB and biology. Kyle placed ninth in Principles of Business and, and seventh in biology. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kyle. No problem. <laughs> How do you feel being one of Jamaica's top performing students? Um, pretty normal, pretty regular, just like every other day, I guess. Whoa, <laughs> that's impressive. So, how did you go about preparing for subjects like biology, principles of business? Um, it was a lot of preparation. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a lot of preparation from you know months before, but um, what I did, I just made sure I studied. I studied a lot, worked hard, and stayed focused to prepare for both subjects and all of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give to somebody who's studying hard to do well in biology? Um, in biology, mm -hmm. specifically, well, in biology, biology is that type of subject, um, that science. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was my favorite science, so it was mm -hmm. a little bit easier than the others for me to study for because when you love something, it's always easier. Mm -hmm. But um, for someone who doesn't necessarily even maybe love biology mm -hmm. as much as me, my advice would be to them, um, biology is that science that you see it every day. Um, it's in your environment, it's in your own body, stuff like that. Um, so you can really make that connection mm -hmm. with biology, whereas like chemistry maybe, you can't really see like molecules and atoms and in physics, um, you know, and not a lot of people may love math that much and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but with biology, it's things you see, animals in their environment, mm -hmm. it's outside, um, the respiratory system, the heart, the circulatory system that's in your own body. Mm -hmm. So when you read the things in the book, um, think and make that connection mm -hmm. to like stuff you experience in your day-to-day -day life and in your environment. Mm -hmm. And it makes it so much easier because you're doing an exam, you can remember that you made that connection and stuff like that. I remember the information a lot easier. As opposed to just swatting. Yeah, as opposed mm -hmm. to just swatting and reading and not getting what you're doing. Actually, just take the time. That's why I always say, try to prepare from before. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard and procrastination is a big problem among a lot of students, mm -hmm. even myself. Mm -hmm. But try to take that time to make those connections and really get the information mm -hmm. and understand mm -hmm. and be able to explain it in your own way mm -hmm. and it makes it so much easier. Do you have any specific advice that you would like to give for principles of business? Um, with principles of business now, um, that's a subject that I think you really should love, you know, mm -hmm. have that passion for like business and stuff like that. But you know, not everybody ends up in subjects they love. Yeah, um, so principles of business can be a chore for a lot of people because mm -hmm. it's a lot of notes yeah. and a lot of definitions and, and pieces of information and stuff like that. But what I would say another, another big advice is to make that connection to real life, you know. You have businesses and the business world is here in Jamaica as well. So make those connections, mm -hmm. stuff like franchising and franchises you have like I used to make the connection, oh like so KFC is a franchise. franchise, Burger King is a franchise, gas stations are franchises, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, when you do stuff like government, you can look into your own government and see what type of government you have, stuff like that. Make the connection to real life mm -hmm. and you understand the information a lot better mm -hmm. because you have that example in mm -hmm. front of your own eyes. And in terms of getting the content, I would say break it up into pieces. That's what I would do. I used to break it down and put it on flashcards and it used to help me to understand so much better and then it makes it a lot more convenient because mm -hmm. you can carry your flashcards anywhere but if flashcards and words aren't your, your thing you can break it down into graphics mm -hmm. right you can have different images explaining different things in the different pieces of information so I would say make that connection and also break it down so that the whole body of information doesn't seem as daunting mm -hmm. as say the little pieces mm -hmm. yeah. so what other subjects did you take for CXC? Um, so I did, this year I did nine subjects, mm -hmm. um, and, and you did math I did in math grade in grade 10. 10, and this year I did nine, so this year I did bio and POB, mm -hmm. as you said, mm -hmm. also did chemistry, physics, I did additional math, English, information technology, French, principles of accounts, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So for these other subjects, was your preparation strategy similar? Um, it was similar. I always tried to, as I say, make connections and break it down. Um, some of them are a little different, obviously, because the content for each subject is different, so you study differently. For example, like additional math, mm -hmm. that's a lot of practice. And um, like English, mm -hmm. for me, English is one of my most difficult it subjects. Is. I don't know if it's because I'm more of a math person, I don't know, but um, English is, is one of my more difficult subjects. So English is, I guess, kind of practice, trial and error and stuff like that. And also like French was a little different as well because that's a language. Yeah. So that's practice, that's just like speaking it and stuff like that. But other than that, the others were pretty similar. The sciences were similar to biology, I try to make connections and stuff. Um, and then principles of accounts was a lot of practice and stuff like that. But what I always try to do, I always try to break down my information into flashcards and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. my preparation was very similar with just a few differences based on the subject. Okay, and what is your career choice? Um, for me, um, I want to go into medicine mm -hmm. right now. Um, but as well, I'm not only passionate about medicine and the sciences, I love businesses as well mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship. So I've always wanted, where whichever field I go into, I always want to factor in business and entrepreneurship. Yeah, because it's always good to have a mix. Yeah, it's know, always good to, I think it's always good to definitely mm -hmm. have a mix. Um, and have a mix of interests mm -hmm. as well because you never know, you might go into the world, there are so many different fields, so many different options. You never know which path you're going to end mm -hmm. up taking. So I would say it's good to have a mix. Um, so that's why I kind of have um, sciences, sciences with medicine right. and stuff and also entrepreneurship which encompasses most of my other passions because I feel you can turn almost anything into a business. Mm -hmm. so. And I see how your extracurricular activities are aligned with what you're interested in medicine you are the president for the aspiring medical, medical professional, professional society at school yeah mm -hmm. that's a relatively new club mm -hmm. um we're in our second year and i'm the president of that um in terms of my other co-curriculars um i'm also president of the math club at school mm -hmm. i'm a part of the music club slash choir mm -hmm. um, we were just in all together sing we came second in all together sing so those are the three like major clubs I'm in at mm -hmm. school, as well as I partake in like my house activities. I was part of the house quiz competition mm -hmm. and different different things here and there, different competitions and stuff like that. Did you win this year for quiz? Um no, we came second for the third year in a row. But the we contributed some well mm -hmm. needed points and our ho overall house ended up winning sports day and the house competition for this year so i guess you win some and you lose you some. win some and yeah. you lose some definitely so yeah those are my main co-curriculars but i partake in stuff little other stuff outside like photography of and stuff. yeah he's um, an excellent photographer yeah um, um i also do photography mm -hmm. so yeah um yeah those are my, my, my extracurriculars so kyle tell us we all want to know what pushes you to work so hard so consistently um what pushes me well Different things push me, you have people and you have things. Mm -hmm. So in terms of people, you know, my mom and my sister definitely are big drivers towards why I work so hard to know, you know, you want to make them mm -hmm. proud. Always. Um, and the, in terms of things, I, I'm just, I've just always, you know, kind of known where I came from. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, humility. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not just humility, I mean, where you come from might not be, I mean, where you want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you want to take yourself from that position to a place where you would be comfortable and where you can, you know, make the others around you that are close to you comfortable. So that's what I work towards. I work towards one day being at that place where I can make not only myself, but, you know, my future family and stuff like that just comfortable. And that's really what success is for me. So mm -hmm. I guess they said the end justifies me. So mm -hmm. I work hard to get to that, that point where, you know, I can look back and say I came from mm -hmm. here and I am now here and I'm proud of where I'm at. Mm, you said the end justifies the means. What do you say? That's like a personal mantra for you? Um, I guess, yeah, because I always mm -hmm. look, um, anytime I kind of feel slow or down mm -hmm. or and like find, trying to find yeah. motivation, I think of that goal, you know, where you, what you want to achieve mm -hmm. and what you want to do. 
and that kind of drives me to get back up again and say, all right, it's a long road and it's difficult and filled with ups and downs, but you know, one day you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. So just keep on working. And what additional motivation would you give to peers who want to do well academically and in whatever endeavors they want to achieve? Um, what motivation I would give them, I would say um, focus on yourself mm -hmm. and what you want. Mm -hmm. um, definitely folk because especially in such a world where we're all connected yep. you can tend to look on other people and say oh they have that or they achieved that and sometimes it's not even true because you know people put on a face but i would say focus on yourself focus on what you want really establish your goals really establish why you want to achieve these goals and use that to drive you and continue keeping you working and working harder and just always keep working at it keep pushing yeah keep pushing no matter what like there's going to be a lot of obstacles in your way um there's going to be a, a lot of um blocks a lot of hurdles that you have to jump over but remember once you have solidified what you want to do what your goal mm -hmm. you solidify why you want to achieve mm -hmm. that goal then no matter what hurdle is going to come into your way, mm -hmm. you will find a way to leap over that hurdle and continue. Once you once you establish yourself, the motivation will come. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kai, for joining us. It was indeed a pleasure, and thank you so it's much for motivating well. our youth. No problem. Because that's nef definitely what we all need, right? Yeah, definitely. There we have it, Kai Wright, one of Jamaica's top performing students. We'll see him excelling so much in the future. Hey guys, this is Kerry Bakan. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications and follow on all socials. Links in the description.